Good morning, everyone. How are you all? Welcome to your Sunday morning relax and reset class. My name's Nadine and I'm so happy to share a, another glorious Sunday with you all. Uh, we're in Melbourne in the Botanical Gardens once again. The weather is perfect. Uh, we have a very enthusiastic dog just over the way. So uh, the challenge for today's class will be to maintain a very calm Zen state uh, for me, <laughs> despite uh, what external noises may surround us. So wish me luck on that one. Um, we are recording today next to a Queensland bottle tree. And I, I wanted to pick this spot because it's really special to me. Um, my mum, for as long as uh, we have been in Australia, which has been about 32 years, we moved here when I was five. So for 32 years, she has, whenever she's been able to, come and read her book by this uh, bottle tree. So it's, um, yeah, I feel like I've, I've grown up next to it as well. So I really wanted to uh, record from this spot today. So let's all get cosy, get comfortable, settle yourself. As per usual, have a second chair or counter nearby for extra support. Slide your shoes off if that would feel um, more grounding and relaxing for you. And uh, have some water nearby, cushions, blankets, whatever you need to make this class as uh, enjoyable and relaxing for you as possible. We're actually going to start with a, uh, a meditation, and it's called the Pyramid of Joy Meditation. Uh, it's one that I really... Um, enjoy and get a lot out of and so I hope you do as well so go ahead and settle yourself into your chair comfortable relaxed let your legs rest down on the floor or ground wherever you are in a way that feels really supportive you can feel the backs of your thighs supported by your chair your knees are relaxed and all the way down to your feet is nice and relaxed and then from that steady, grounded lower half, a lean back into your chair. Relax your shoulders down. And close or soften your eyes down. And let's collectively take three cycles of breath. Deep breath in. Long breath out. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, deep breath in, long breath out. And keep those eyes closed or softly gazing down to your lap. And take a moment or two as we begin class to scan over your body. Notice any areas that feel tense or tight. Equally, any areas or parts of your body that feel really energetic and open. Scan from the crown of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Notice how you have arrived to class today. And once you've scanned through your physical body, check in with your mind. Check in with your energy levels and pay attention to the quality of your breath. Notice, is it already slow and deep or a little shorter and sharper? And then once you have checked in with your internal environment, Pay attention to your external environment, the sounds of the birds, our dog friend. <laughs> Notice any sounds in your home. Any sounds outside your home. Just take all of it in, in this moment. And allow this heightened awareness, this increased awareness you have 
to anchor you here in the present, following every breath in and breath out. Continue to sit relaxed, at ease in your body with a slow, steady breath. As you breathe, as you soak in this moment, create a magenta pyramid in your mind. The base of the pyramid is in line with the top of your chest. The apex of the pyramid is above your head, where your fingers would be if you were to reach up overhead. So it's a big, lovely pinky purple pyramid that you've created. It starts at your mid-chest, finishes way above your head. Now in your mind, go to the bottom left of the pyramid and create a feeling of peace here. Perhaps you connect to that feeling of peace by quietening your breath down, slowing the chatter of your mind down and fully focusing on this bottom left corner of the pyramid. And the gentle sounds of the birds in the background. Perhaps bring to your mind anything else that makes you feel peaceful. And then go to the bottom right of the pyramid and create a feeling of love here. The easiest way to tap into this feeling of love is to bring to mind people, animals, places that we love the most. Soak in those feelings of love that the people that you or animals or places that you have brought into your heart create within you. Hold on to that feeling and then move your awareness up to the very top of the pyramid and here create a feeling of joy. And if this feeling is hard to connect to, go back through your memories to a time where you felt particularly joyful, present, vibrant. And let that memory initiate that feeling of joy within you. Now each time you breathe in, Move your awareness all the way up your pyramid to that feeling of joy at the top. And each time you breathe, breathe, breathe out, bring the joy vibration down through the cells of your body. Let it mix with the feelings of peace and love at the base of your pyramid, which are in line with your heart. Inhale, move up to that feeling of joy. And as you exhale, draw the joy back down into your being. Keep breathing just like that, breathing in. Feel your awareness travel up over your head, breathing out. Pour that joy down into your body. Keep connecting to that feeling of joy as you breathe in and out. Now also bring into this breathing meditation the feeling of peace and love. Gather that from the base of your pyramid, the base of your heart. Let it move up over you, filling your mind and traveling out from you to the top of your pyramid. And then everything gathering back down into the cells of your being, feelings of joy, of peace, of love. 
And keep going, keep breathing just like that. Slow, steady breaths. If you ever lose the connection to this breathing meditation, simply draw your awareness back to one of those memories or people, places, animals that you use to create the feelings of love, of peace, of joy. And once you connect to that, again, start moving it through your being. It's as if we are facilitating these feelings, traveling through us, and even to the point where you can direct the positive energy that these three feelings create, mixing together to areas of pain or discomfort in your body, any sadness in your mind or your heart, any negative energy, send these feelings, this vibration that you're creating to those places. And as strange as it sounds, breathing joy down into your sore knee, may feel hard to comprehend, but stay with it. Keep your breath flowing. Stay connected to those feelings. And as I always like to encourage, bring a slight smile to your face. Notice how you feel, how the quality of your breath is now. State of your mind, feeling in your body. Perhaps that knee may still be sore. But instead of focusing on that completely, your mind is full of other more positive feelings and energies. Enjoy a few more rounds of breath here just for you. You can release the pyramid meditation if you like or stay with it. The choice is yours. At the end of your next exhale, let go of that meditation if you haven't already. Start to wiggle your toes, either in your socks, your shoes, or bare feet against the floor. Keep the eyes closed and start to lift and lower one foot and then the other. Pitter pattering the tops of your feet downwards. Keep your toes connected to the earth or floor. Maybe slide your feet back slightly and then start to lift one heel and then the other. As you're ready, rock heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Keep those toes wiggling all the way through, waking your body up from the base. As you're ready with your feet rocking back and forth, blink your eyes open, come back to your space. Hello again, everyone. Draw your toes out to the side and back in. Out and in. Out and in. Nice. Warming those ankles up. Keep your toes drawing towards one another. Pause here. Draw the heels out, then together. Out and in. Out and in, out and in. Nice, everyone. Scoop beneath the right thigh. Pick up your right knee and circle your ankle around. Should feel nice and awake now if it hasn't um, already woken up. Place that light right foot down, over to the left. Scoop under, lift up, circle. That's it. Around in the other direction. Nice. And then sit up nice and tall in your chair. Slide to the front edge. Draw your feet together so that they're touching. Keep your left hand resting on your left thigh for stability. Let your right knee open out to the side. And then come back in. Out and in. I think it's time we introduce some breath in with our movement. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Over to the other side. Left knee out. Inhale. Back in as you exhale. Out. 
and in, out, and in. Last time through, in. Nice, everyone. So good. Scoop beneath the right thigh once again. Pick that knee up and just let your leg kick back and forth. We'll try and let momentum do most of this work rather than muscle energy. And then place that right foot down over to the other sky, side. Scoop beneath the left thigh. Pick it up. Lean back. And just let your left lower leg rock back and forth. Range of movement doesn't have to be huge. It's more about just getting that knee joint flexing and extending. Wonderful. Set your left foot back down. All right, sit up nice and tall. Place both hands on your thighs. And let's think about our torso now. Create length from your hips all the way to your armpits. Roll your shoulders back and down. Nice. Let's do that two more times. Deep breath in. And a breath out, going slow and steadily. Last time through, breathe in. And breathe out. Wonderful. Great. Now, our hand gesture for today mirrors the meditation that we began with. We create a triangle, or pyramid type shape. And let your other six fingers fan out. So that's what it looks like against the dark of the tree. I hope you can all see that okay. And this hand gesture uh, connects us um, with the crown of our head and even the area above our head. So think of it as increasing your awareness, not only of yourself from the very top of your head all the way down to your toes, but also your environment immediately around you. So create this shape with your hands and relax your shoulders down. We're going to move with it in a moment, but for now, just close your eyes down and I want you to really think about the area around your body right now. How does the air feel? Can you notice not only what is within you, but what is just beyond you? This can be a metaphor, not only right now, paying attention to both our internal and external environment, but guiding us through our days. We pay attention to what's within, of course. We keep our eyes open, our awareness connected to that which is going on around us as well. Blink those eyes open, stay connected to both your internal and external environment. Let's reach our hands, our triangle, all the way up overhead. Gaze up to your hands. Look at the little window that you have created between your thumbs touching and index fingers touching. A little triangle of light. For me, I'm looking up at lots of leaves and the sky, which is very nice. Let's breathe in here. As you breathe out, sweep your hands wide. Tuck them in at your side waist. Inhale, reach both hands forward. And as you exhale, make a fist, pull back, sit up tall, squeeze your shoulders back. And find that triangle with your hands once again. Inhale, offer the triangle up to the sky. Look through the little photo lens that you've created with your hands. Exhale, sweep the arms bright and wide. And draw your hands to your waist, reach forward, palms face the sky, big breath in. As you breathe out, make a fist, sit up tall, squeeze those shoulder blades together, puff the heart. Find your triangle once again, breathe in, reach up, look up. As you breathe out, arc the hands wide, gaze straight ahead. Inhale, offer both hands forward, palms to the sky. As you exhale, make a fist, sit up tall, pull back, press your heart forward. One more time through, just like that. Breathe in, connect, index fingers and thumbs, reach up, spread the other fingers wide, stretching out through your hands. Keep the fingers spread wide as you arc your hands down alongside you. Inhale, offer forward. Exhale, make a strong fist, pull back, sit up tall, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then settle your hands down on your thighs. We'll come back to 
that little sequence of movement later on in class. Let's circle the shoulders up, back and down once again. Up, back and down. Now we just played around with opening and closing the hands um, and creating that hand gesture. But let's take a moment to actually give them some attention. Take your left hand, place it out in front of you like a stop sign. With your right hand, scoop it around in front of your left fingers and then pull those left fingers back. You should feel a very deep stretch on the underside of your left wrist. And then turn your left fingers downwards. Press your left um, back of your palm back towards you. Now you'll feel that stretch at the top of your forearm. Shake your left hand out. Open and close the hand a few times. Nice. Twiddle your fingers. And relax that hand down over to the right side. Make your stop sign. Take your left hand in front of your right fingers. Pull them back. It's a great stretch if you have spent a lot of time on the computer this week or on your phone. Fingertips downwards. Press back. Or if you've been carrying around a uh, 12 kilo toddler, my wrists are really starting to feel it. <laughs> and then float that left hand down, right hand open, close, open, close, open, close. Give the fingers a wiggle. Jude's become very, very good at waving at every bus and tram that we go by in Melbourne. Every person even doesn't often get a lot of waves back, but um, I feel like I'm practicing waving a lot too. <laughs> Let's do both hands together. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Give a little wave. Nice, everyone. Float your hands down. We'll circle the wrist just for a moment, round in one direction, back in the other. And then we'll increase that movement until we're scooping around. So we're circling our hands forward, back and around. And this can look like anything you want it to look like. You're just thinking about getting a lot of movement through the wrists, through the elbows and through your shoulders. Let's go back in the other direction. So I won't um, direct you too much with this one. Those circles can look like whatever you want them to be. Just about waking these arms up. So nice. All right. Arms and legs should feel pretty good right now. Let's take a twist. Left hand to the outside of your right knee. Right hand to the back of your chair. And then pull your right hand into your chair so that you can really deepen that twist. Gaze over your right shoulder. Pause here. Deep breath in. And a breath out. And one more time through. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep the left hand where it is, spine long. Release your right hand from the chair. And as you next inhale, arc the right hand all the way up over your right ear. Reach towards the front of your space. Breathe space and length through the right side of your torso now. And with your left hand pressing into your right knee or the outer edge of your right leg, press it even further so you can spin your heart to the right side. Nice, everyone. One more deep breath in. And a breath out. Draw yourself all the way back up. Let's go straight over to the other side. Cross your right hand over. Connect anywhere along the outside of your left leg. And then with your left hand, reach around. Catch a hold of the back of your chair. And really pull your torso around to the left. Gaze over that left shoulder. Hmm. Enjoy a few slow, steady breaths here. One more inhale. And an exhale. Keep the right hand where it is with your left hand. Arc up and over to the front of your space. Once you've created that side body stretch, draw your awareness back into your right hand, press into the outer edge of your left knee so that your heart spins more to the left and you add a little bit of a twist in. Nice. All the way back up and turn to center. So good. Give the hands a little shake and legs a little shake. 
All right, let's pause for a sip of water. And I always like to think um, with us being uh, such a, a supportive community, when um, one of us is feeling joyful, happy, energetic, it's really important to offer that feeling out, share it with your community, and then also know and trust if today is not the best, you're not having a very good day, it's not the best day that you um, have had this week, know that your community is there to support you, okay, and they are offering everything that they have for you as well. So we're lifting each other up. We show up for each other every week um, and support each other through it. So as we move into our sun salutations, I want you to think about that. We're going to come back to the hand flow that we did. So create your pyramid or triangle of joy, we'll call it, between your index fingers and thumbs. Make sure your feet are planted directly beneath your knees, steady down on the earth. As you inhale, reach all the way up to the top of your pyramid, your joy. As you exhale, sweep your hands wide. On the breath in, think about the peace and the love at the bottom of your pyramid. Offer that forward. And on the breath out, pull back whatever you need from your supportive community. Know that we've got you. Let's try that one more time. Breathe in, reach up to the top of your pyramid, find joy. As you breathe out, let that joy move down over your body. Inhale, offering forward all that you have today. And on the exhale, pulling back. Know that you are supported. Take what you need from this experience. Okay, let's add in the rest of our sun salutations for our next round. So inhale, reach on up. Exhale, sweep the hands wide. Inhale, offer forward. As you exhale, you're going to pull straight down towards your feet, fine? Make those fists pull down towards your feet, bow your torso down. Then hands to shins, lift your torso up halfway, breathe in. Exhale, fold. And this second fold is a really heavy, relaxed fold. As you breathe in, find your triangle, index fingers and thumbs touch, spread the other fingers wide, reach all the way up to the sky. As you breathe out, arc the hands wide. Nice, everyone. Offer forward. Inhale. Make your fists. Drag them down to your feet and bow as you exhale. Halfway lift. Deep breath in. This time as you bow, it's a full release. Relax through the back of your head and neck. Find your triangle once again. Press into your feet. Reach up to the sky. Deep breath in. Arc wide as you breathe out. Last time through, inhale, offer forward. Exhale, make those fists pull down towards your feet, bow. Halfway lift, hands to shins. Feel the crown of your head drawing forward. And as you exhale, complete release. Find your triangle, reach all the way up to the sky. And then on the breath out, let your hands separate and slowly, slowly, slowly float down towards your sides. As slow as you can, feeling the air move beneath your fingers, between your fingers. And all the little shifts and adjustments of your body as your hands draw their way down to your lap. Close the eyes, sit in stillness. Resist any temptation to fix your hair or your top or have a drink. Just mo take a moment here. Pause. Notice now the state of my body, the state of my mind, energy levels, quality of my breath. Pay close attention to where you're at now. nice everyone blink those eyes open you can pause for another sip of water if you'd like and come into our next stretch which the feet are going to be a little wider well a lot wider than hip width distance apart pull your toes back towards your face and you have to be quite on the edge of your chair here um, so that you don't feel the bottom of the chair digging into your thighs too much 
Then take your hands to the fronts of your thighs, slide down to your knees, stay long through your back body, long through your side body. If this is enough for you, stay here. If you'd like to go a little further, maybe slide down to your shins. Now, this is a bit of a balance challenge as well because we don't want to topple off our chair, do we? So make sure your feet are pressing down, supporting you downwards. Your sit bones are pressing down into your chair. Your belly is engaged. And once you've found that deep stretch at the back of the legs, maybe even the inner groin as the feet are wide, relax your head all the way down. Let it hang heavy. And then take some little half circles from shoulder to shoulder. Take your time, let your breath flow. <sighs> and then let your head just hang, nod it out, yes, a little bit. This nodding action may increase the stretch in your lower back. You'll find stillness for your last two cycles of breath. Nice, everyone. Slide your hands back to your thighs. Sit yourself upright and then step your feet in. Legs are still nice and wide, though. Okay, we're going to slide down one more time. This time we should be able to fold a little bit deeper between our legs. This is known as seated child's pose. Slide your hands down your legs over your knees. If you, this is where you're comfortable at, stay here. If you'd like to go a little further, slide your hands down your shins, maybe down to your ankles. Again, let your head hang heavy. And once you get to the end of range here, I want you to draw your breath all the way down to your lower back. See if you can expand the area around your kidneys. Nice, everyone. As you're ready, start to slide your way back up your legs. Close the eyes down. Once you get upright, sit up tall. And again, just notice where is my body at now? And then blink those eyes back open. Keep your left knee facing forwards. Step your right leg out to the right side, toes towards the sky. And again, just adjust yourself on the chair so the bottom of the chair is not digging into your legs too much. And then let's start our next flow. As you breathe in, slide your right hand down your right leg, reach your left arm up and over. As you breathe out, take your left hand, hold on to the bottom of your chair, reach your right hand up and overhead. Inhale, down to the right leg, reach your left hand high. As you exhale, up and over to the left side. Inhale, over to the right. And exhale, back to the left. All the way back up to center. Nice. Bend into that right knee. And then heel toe it all the way back to meet your left. Windscreen wiper that right knee in and out, in and out. Great. And then over to our left side. Right knee points straight ahead. Step your left foot out to the left side. Leg is as straight as um, is comfortable for you. Pull the toes back towards you and this is to light up the front line of the leg. Keep your heart facing forwards as best you can and then slide your left hand down. Reach your right arm up and over. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right hand to the base of your chair. Sweep your left arm up and over. Inhale, over to the left. Exhale, take it to the right. Twice more through, breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. So good, everyone. All the way back up. Bend into the left knee, heel toe, heel toe, back to center. Windscreen wiper the knee back and forth. Great job. Okay, so we're going to um, still focus on the knees a little bit more. Now, um, two options, standing and sitting for this. If you're sitting, 
it's going to kind of be like we're practicing a sit to stand, um, but we're not going to go all the way there. It's more just about working on flexing your knee deeply. So you're rocking back and forth on your chair into that right knee and then back. Okay. And so we're really using our torso, our upper body to increase the bend increase the load on the right knee and stretch through the front of the right knee okay and then the left foot is just out in front to support all right so that's what it looks like if you're sitting if you're standing grab your other chair your right knee is forward and it's a simple lunge just lunging in and out okay so wherever you are get into this rhythm time your breath with it breathing in to come forward out to go back in out in out in out keep that going all right and as you're ready switch sides step your left foot forward right foot back if you're standing and if you're sitting same thing left knee tucks back right foot's forward just for extra support and then we're lunging forward and back forward and back if you're standing you can have the back heel rocking forward and back with you and normally in a lunge we don't encourage you to draw your knee further forward over your toes but for this particular exercise it's all just about really increasing the flexion of your knee joint so it's okay this time around <laughs> all right nice everyone now that will have woken up our thighs the front line of our legs our quadriceps so let's use those for our next stretch if you're seated um, I'll show you that variation in a sec if you're standing this is called triangle pose so we'll start on the left side left toes point forward towards well point to the left I should say towards the back of your chair right foot steps back both legs are straight Okay, right toes are, toes are pointing straight ahead, left toes are pointing to the left. Now, the reason why we wanted to wake up our quadricep muscle is because we want to use them in this stretch. So we don't want the knee to just snap back and these muscles all to be asleep. We want the knee cap to pull up so you feel your quadriceps lighting up. Okay, and then you can take your front hand to the back of your chair, reach your right hand up to the sky. And this can be your variation of triangle pose. If you'd like to go a little deeper, flip your chair around and reach up like this. And then last variation would be right hand overhead towards the left. Really keep thinking about that left leg though. Make sure it's active and awake. Right hand overhead like so. So that's your standing variation. Ooh. If you are sitting, let me show you that. Maybe I'll stay sitting for this one. Just had a little, little head spin happen there. <laughs> so if you're sitting, it's going to be the same thing we did with our legs just before. So the left leg is going to be straight, but if you're sitting, toes are pointing up towards the sky to encourage that kneecap to pull up and um, stay active. So we want the front of the leg activating to stretch out through the back of our leg. And then you slide your left hand down the left leg, reach your right hand to the sky. And this is your seated triangle pose. Again, next variation would be right hand over your right ear towards the left side. If you want to widen your stance slightly, you can heel toe your right knee out towards the right side, but toes are still pointing straight ahead. So let's all take that shape. Once you've created it, enjoy three breaths here. One more time, deep breath in and a breath out. Nice, everyone. If you're standing, go ahead and draw those feet together. Walk out your hips from a seated position. Rock the knees side to side. I will do our right side standing um, to join those of you that are standing. If you're seated, um, just go ahead and take that right foot out to the right side. Remember, toes point up to the sky. Standing right toes to the right side. The left toes point forward, both legs straight. And to increase the stretch here, you can widen your stance. 
and that's up to you. And then you'll need to reach forward a little bit to hold on to either the base of your chair or the back of your chair. So do that. That also promotes nice long side bodies. Turn your heart forward. Reach your left hand to the sky. And really think about engaging the front of your right thigh. And then reach your left hand over your ear towards the right side, everybody. And we've got three breaths here. Deep breath in. Long breath out. And again. So good, everyone. All the way back up, move slowly. Step your feet together, walk those feet out if you're standing. Swish your knees side to side if you're in a sitting position. And we will take a side body um, back stretch once again. So in my favorite one, always features in our class. If you're seated, sit down, feet out wide, heels in, toes out, bend your knees, and then take your hands to the back of your chair or countertop and let your chest sway down towards the earth. If you're standing, again, a fairly wide stance. Press your sit bones back behind you. Bow your torso down. And now everybody just enjoy five breaths here. As you breathe, I want you to come back to that pyramid of joy meditation that we did. And imagine now, though, that the apex of your pyramid is above your back. As you breathe in, feel, fill up the back of your heart. Draw your awareness, your breath, your energy all the way up to the top of the pyramid. Gather that joy that is waiting there for you and pull that back down into the back line of your body. Inhale, press into the back of your heart, back of your heart to the sky. Exhale, pull that joy back down into the cells of your body, the fibers of your being. One more time. Again, if peace or love, those feelings uh, and that energy is what you need more of today, then let that be what moves through you right now. So nice, everyone. All right. Let's come all the way back up. If you're standing or sitting, we just had our heart a little low there. So pause, allow your head to settle if there's any spinning going on. All right, goddess squat. We'll come back to our uh, moving arm meditation that we did just before um, that we've done throughout class. So if you're in a seated position or if you're starting standing and you may need to sit after, make sure your chair is just behind you. Keep your legs exactly as they are, knees out, toes out, heels in. Okay, and this is where you will move from. If you're standing, you'll take a goddess squat in the legs. Our quads are fired up. The back of our legs are really stretched out. So um, you are ready and prepped in your body to hold this position. And just push your knees out towards either side. Let's find our triangle of joy, of peace, of love. Inhale, reach it up to the sky. As you exhale, let your hands fan down to either side. Inhale, palms to the sky, offer forward, press your sit bones back. As you exhale, pull your fists back to your hips, press your heart forward, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice. Breathe in. This time as you breathe in, if you're standing, straighten those legs. As you breathe out, arc your hands down, bend into your knees once again. Inhale, offer forward. And exhale, pull those fists back to your hips. Breathe in, everyone. Find that triangle, peace, joy, love. Straighten the legs. If you're standing, reach up. Breathe out. Sit back down into your legs. Arc the hands wide. Inhale, offer forward. Exhale, pull back. Once more through. Nice, everyone. Stand up tall, reach both hands to the sky. 
if you're sitting reach both hands to the sky and then as you breathe out again just let those hands float down alongside you all the way down to your waist wonderful step your feet together and we'll all return back to our chairs great take any little movements uh, adjustments that you need to to feel really comfortable in your body once again sip of water and then we'll start cooling back down all right so we've stretched the back line and the inner seams of our legs quite a lot let's stretch the fronts of our hips now so we'll all do this in a seated position spinning round to the right Support the base of your thigh, of your right thigh with your chair. Set your foot up right beneath your right knee. And then with the left leg, inch those left toes back only as far as you need to, to feel a stretch at the front of your left thigh. So I feel that stretch already. So I'm going to stay right here. If you need to go further back, go for it. But if that's jamming down on your back, just draw the left toes forward that little bit more and instead think about pressing your hips forward for a deeper stretch. So you actually don't need to send the left foot that far back. It's really more about pressing the hips forward, keeping length through your side body and through your back. And then steady your gaze straight ahead. Let's find our pyramid of joy, peace and love once again. Press your hands out in front of you. Create that window with your index and thumb, index fingers and thumb. Other six fingers fan wide. And just notice. Get really present, fully aware of what it is that you see through your window. Relax the shoulders down. One more breath here. And then float your hands all the way back down. Nice, everyone. Step your left foot in. While we're here, seated sideways, let's go ahead and stretch the left outer hip. So cross your left ankle over your right ankle or your left ankle all the way up to your right knee. And then lean forward, outer hip stretch. Sit yourself back up, lean back, drop the left foot down to the earth. All right, let's go all the way over around to the other side. Support the back of your left thigh with your chair. And then again, try to find your edge here, an edge that is breathable and sustainable as you draw the right toes back. So that's about it for me, I think. And then a little extra push of your hips forward to increase that front of thigh, front of hip stretch. This time, create that pyramid triangle of joy, of peace, and of love. Reach it all the way up overhead, gaze to the space between your fingers and thumb. If you need to bend the elbows a little bit, arms are getting tired, go ahead and do that. We're just using this to focus our gaze on one point, steady gaze, turn and help promote a steady mind. So nice, everyone. One more breath, exactly as you are. I'm very much enjoying watching the clouds move across the sky between my win within my window that I've created with my fingers. It's not often that we stop and just watch the clouds these days, is it? And then go ahead and sit upright slide that right foot in and take your outer hip stretch on the right side so right ankle crossing over your left ankle or a right ankle all the way over the left knee wherever you are a gentle lean forward and we're seeking out stretch through the outer hip area here and sit yourself back up Return your right foot down, circle back around to center, keep both feet together, 
and give yourselves a hug. So either hug your forearms around your shins or around the backs of your thighs. And rest your torso down wherever it lands. And relax your head and your neck. And breathe into your back body. One more deep breath in. Long breath out. So good, everyone. Slide yourself back up. Lean straight back into your chair. Relax your legs out in front of you. You can set all your hands in your lap in any way that feels comfortable. You can take this moment now to cover yourself with a blanket, prop yourself up with cushions, whatever you need to be even just 10% more comfortable. As you're ready, close or soften your eyes down. And collectively, we'll take a full breath in and a long breath out. A few moments of quiet that are just for you. And as you rest here, letting the physical shapes that we've created with our body integrate, cast your mind back to the meditation that we opened our class with. And in particular, any memories of feeling particularly joyful or peaceful, people, places, animals, things that fill you with love, now is the time to invite all of them back into your heart. A little smile to your lips. And just enjoy these next few moments just for you filling yourself up with really positive energy. At the end of your next exhale, waking yourself back up by wiggling your toes. Moving your feet, wiggling your fingers. Moving your hands, circling ankles, wrists, roll your head from side to side. And finally, blinking your eyes open. Coming back to your space, sit yourself upright, let's finish creating a length and a sense of vibrancy through our torso. So imagine someone was pulling the crown of your head right up to the top of your pyramid. Relax your shoulders down. Feel your chest lift up again, that pyramid creating space and light within you. Long side bodies, relax your shoulders down, steady your legs, and collectively let's take one more deep breath in. This time as you breathe out, make a nice big ah sound. Let's do that two more times, deep breath in. Ah. Inhale, last time through. Uh, so good everyone all right thank you that is the end of another one of our Sundays together I uh, will join you on the chat can't wait to chat to you all and um, really hope that you have a wonderful week ahead uh, lots of um, 
different things that we have planned for you in the in the coming weeks and months um, so thank you for supporting us always uh, if you haven't already a little thumbs up for this class would be wonderful um, and always look into joining our channel or subscribing if you haven't already can't wait to see you all on the chat and um, we'll be back again next Sunday for another uh, wonderful exercise class together in a new nook in this special place. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.